All right, this is Matt from Planorama Design. Uh, I'd like to give a quick demo of User Story Generator. Uh, as you can see, I'm already logged in, so we'll get started. What we do is we click on the Start New Product Idea, and we can pick from many different kinds here that have been already written, um, but of course, you probably have your own product that uh, you'd want to fill in. So I'm gonna grab one here I've already written, and paste it in. Again, it's just a text area you can enter in. It has to be a minimum amount, but um, probably shouldn't go over 255 characters. Um, the AI can, can do quite a bit with what we have. So we'll start off with that. Click Start. And now the AI is going back to think about some possible product or feature ideas that uh, you might need for this application. Now, you may have some of your own too, and you could enter them in here. But uh, it's coming up with some that seem reasonable and uh, you may want to even consider uh, for, your, uh, for your application. So we'll start off with here, looking at, um, uh, looking at mental health services uh, by zip code uh, for this particular product idea. Click Next. Now the AI is going back and trying to figure out uh, who may need to be uh, a user of this or a persona. Now, in this case, again, it's AI. It's not perfect. Uh, sometimes it will come up with many of them uh, that are pretty accurate. Sometimes it'll kind of write one here that is very long. Uh, what we can do is go back and edit that. We can say, okay, how about employees? And another one here we might enter in is, and say, employers. Those seem pretty reasonable. Uh, we also captured the system administrator uh, also, and you're gonna find that in every uh, instance of running uh, the user story generator. Uh, it will, uh, sometimes you'll be able to use that as a role and you'll come up with other types of user stories that are more focused on the administration of the software application. So let's jump in here and click on employers. And it's gonna produce some user stories. Uh, so it'll do it from the employer's perspective. Again, the AI works as best it can. Uh, we try to uh, adjust it so that it will do it in a, as a, I want to, so that I can, but it doesn't always. And you'll see that here. You can get rid of ones that don't make sense to you. Save it. And you can go back and generate more. So maybe we want to go and say, uh, filtering by type of insurance. That's a good one. And let's look at it from the employee's perspective. Of course, it saved the ones we did before. And uh, here are some other ones, right? And it's again, focused on the filtering. So I wanna be able to filter results um, based on the insurance accepted. Oh, that seems reasonable. I, I'm gonna just get rid of some other ones. Oh, okay, by the ratings as well, fantastic. Okay, so. The nice thing is you can do this multiple times and generate a whole set of user stories. Uh, and again, you have to go and edit these. This is not meant to be a product uh, creator <laughs> by any stretch, but it is meant to help get you started uh, because the objective is to get you past uh, writing user stories from scratch and give you something that you can edit. So uh, with that, uh, I think we are set. You can then share these results if you like. You can go to share and click copy link and you can share that anywhere. Uh, you can always get back to this when you log in again as well. Uh, thanks a lot for listening. I hope this is uh, helpful to uh, product managers and founders and all other folks who have to write user stories as a way to help get you started. Thanks a lot and have a good day.